you have to be willing to take a risk. If you're going to get to where you're trying to get to, you're going to have to be willing to take a risk, man. Um, me being ended up in Phoenix, traveling, just doing different jobs up to this point, you know what I mean? Uh, I had to be, I had to take a risk. I had to take a risk to start a business. I had to take a risk to get to where I'm at. So, and I'm taking risks to further my uh, education and further my, my future for me, myself, and for my kids and my grandkids. So, if you're going to do something big, remember this. You're going to have to take a risk. I mean, I remember in the South, we used to say, a scared man can't make no money, man. You know, you got to invest. You're going to have to be willing to do something. I mean, and you're going to lose money. So, don't think that you're going to play some type of fool move where you're going to run through this thing and you ain't going to invest no money or you're going to beat the system. Nah, you're going to have to invest money. It takes money. This system is built on money. Now, it don't necessarily take a lot in certain areas, but you're going to have to spend. And certain things, you're just going to have to, you know, pay the piper. It's, it is what it is. You're going to get it back on the long run. But keep that in mind. You know what I mean? Like, during this quarantine times, I think a lot of people right now are realizing that, hey, I need to get me a side hustle. I need to start me a little LLC. I need to have me at least a little, a little something on the side where I can bring some income in. When things get slow, I can make up for my income because all we know is earn income that's to me that's the mentality we got to break as welders as independent owners or whatever we have to break that mentality of thinking that we have to work for our income we can make income work for us and that's where the passive income so that's where you know learning i think the first step of really getting to that next level is starting up here that's why it's hard for certain people to really change and to embrace certain things because they have to change the way they was taught. And a lot of times you're going to face some things you be like, man, I've been lied to. I was deceived. Why? Why do they lie about this? You know, so you have to keep from getting bitter and get better. Because once you get some knowledge of what's really going on with the system, life itself, what you was taught, it's going to piss you off. Truth be told. But you can't allow it to get you better. You got to let it get you better. As we learn in life, we got to just embrace it and do better and better. And as you do business, you're going to realize that business can be real cruel. Business can be real <laughs> valid in a way. You know what I mean? It can make people valid. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be able to learn the system. And you have to use what you got, man. I like to say that because a lot of times we try to go get things we don't need. Ask questions. Pay for what you need. Those consultations, those classes. Certain things you don't need, you don't need to pay for. Don't waste your time. But do your research on the person or on the class on what you need and say, okay, I need this knowledge to get me here. Get what you need so that way you can get there. Hog on.